So welcome, I'm Daniel. Today we're gonna to look at find view by ID. So let's get started. I have just a basic XML layout here. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into text mood mode and we're gonna get rid of this text view. We're gonna put a button here instead. So button wrap wrap text um well uh, not that welcome. I'm going to go ahead and save that and if we go we should have just one button here on the screen so yeah we have a button there so um, and I'm just using at the bottom you can switch between design and text this is XML layout um, usually there are a couple of things you'd want to um, fix here but this button's fine for now so I want to go over to our Java Java file so main activity or you can hit command P on your keyboard and start typing it so main activity and it'll open up for you so let's go ahead and at the top, let's go ahead and put private button M button. So that's that's our basic setup there. Now let's do M button equals find view by ID. And I can use code heading there. So R dot ID dot and I actually didn't assign it an ID. So I'm going to go back, command P, activity, start typing activity main and it'll come up that way. So let's go ahead and put an ID. I can just hit ID, hit enter a couple of times. It'll automatically fill it out. I'll name this one button. So we have a button there. I'm going to hit escape, save, uh, alt, command L to format the code, Con command P, main activity. Um, here we are. So we call that button and it'll automatically fill it in for us. I'll go ahead and put a semicolon at the end. Now you'll see it's given us an error. So what we need to do is we need to just put our mouse over that and uh, hit, not that, hit Alt Enter. And this will give you some, whenever you see like the red squiggly line under the text, it means that there's some error. So I'm just gonna do that and the first option is cast widget to button and it's just gonna put this, let me see how it, we're just gonna put that in front of there to cast it to a button. So that's how you use find view by ID. So let's go ahead and do something with it. Let's go put M button dot set on click new on so what, what happens inside of here is every time it's going to look for M button and M button if we look over here is linked over to this right here so um, so so every time M button set on a click listener just basically means that we're going to listen for every time somebody something happens somebody clicks on that and we just and see how all this code it generated for us I just needed to type a few characters of that but what's important is inside of here is where uh, where what will happen so so let's go ahead and put um, what should we put let's put log D uh, welcome here we'll put welcome there now we need to go to the top and hit log T log T enter enter um, that should take care of that so we're gonna go ahead and run this and see what happens when we so I have an emulator already running and I'm just gonna go ahead and switch to that so we should see this here in just a second change um, Android so I so I hit cont uh, control R that that's the com that's the keyboard shortcut to run and it looks like it got no errors and we should see it appear and we do and it's pulling up now so I'm gonna go ahead and click welcome and you see down here in the log in the log section it says a, a one click welcome so that's exactly what we wanted and that's how to use find view by ID to make a reference to a button and I can just hold down the con the command key and so command click on the button and it'll show you where it is in your XML file. So that's it for today. Find you by idea in Android Studio.